2017 Ram Knight Edition fundamentals looks extreme, sounds mean. It ain't shoddy, this Ram Knight Edition. Full estimate pickups aren't any longer. It's a hello for decent truck however. They all, Titan, Silverado, F150, Tundra, including this one, ride easily and serenely, the insides are tranquil and agreeable, and pleasantly constructed, and they offer heaps of setup decisions. So how can one pick among them? A thing isolating a ram from the opposition, is the incredible ride quality with its curl spring setup. On the interstate this infant is rich smooth and calm and the customizable air suspension improves everything even. The 5.7 liter V8 is extraordinary and sounds like a dragster when you leg this thing. The 8 speed programmed, moves easily and near impalpably. It doesn't chase around searching for the correct rigging either. The inside is okay, much appreciated. The dash mounted move handle just adds to the inclination that there's huge amounts of space. The seats are agreeable and the manufacture quality looks great. FCA's Uconnect focus screen is as natural as these things come, and I like that there's huge handles for the fan speed and radio and such. With the night bundle you get the dark grille and wheels, it looks great. Intense. The issue with manufacturing plant custom bundles is that, regardless of how mean they look on the showroom floor, they tend to wind up feeling dated before long. In truth, this is valid about relatively every homebrew custom exertion, as well. Apparently, some processing plant trims, similar to the Ram 1500 Mossy Oak Edition, never looked great notwithstanding when spick and span. So, the Knight Edition doesn't take things too far for its own particular great. The passed out identifications are inconspicuous, or possibly as unpretentious as a 2 foot tall ram on the back end can ever be, and the fume sounds extremely extraordinary. Goodness, and it's a truck. So once you've expelled the tonneau cover, a genuinely basic operation on account of the simple to work securing framework, you can throw stuff in the bed, that $495 bed liner ought to be compulsory, and let that emi thunder off into the, up night. This thing doesn't have a full length bed, the greater part of the mid and full estimate trucks we test nowadays don't. Since I'm regularly pulling drywall or full sheets of plywood, I underestimate it that I will need to convey along my own particular lashes to shield things from flying out of the back. The coordinated bed extender works awesome for holding longer stuff under tightest reins. However, think to X4S and trim, and it likewise fills in as a bed divider on the off chance that you need to prevent stuff from sliding around. You've likely seen that most all that I've complemented can be had on a consistent ramp 1500. Then again, the stuff this night edition ram offers over a standard 1500, the mentality, the ride, the snarl and punch of a decent V8, is stuff that I need however on a challenger, not a full measured pickup. To me, a truck is an apparatus, not where I need to center my endeavors, to characterize an individual style. In any case, there are individuals who are really into deceived out trucks, and I sincerely can't hold that against them, it's simply a question of taste. In case you're one of them, and the night edition happens to get your attention, realize that you'll be getting all that we've enjoyed about the Ram 1500, since it appeared along, to go down those passed out identific-